Hey guys, um, I just got out of my computer applications class. This is the third day in a row I've tried to record this, but and every day I picked a new topic, but I kept getting into politics, and I don't really want to talk about politics. I think the real problem is that politics envelops so much now. Like, I know in my lifetime, things that used to not be political at all, either one political party or the other has decided to champion the cause, and all of a sudden, something like comic books is political. <laughs> Let's see, I need to pick a new topic then. Um... All right, uh, let's talk about video games. Why not? Because uh, my teacher, my computer applications class, is teaching a game design class next semester. She told us about that. I, I really want to make a video game. That'd be awesome. Whether it's just for me to play or if I try to sell it, I think that'd be really cool. I'd have a story floating around in my head, but I have no idea where to even start in making a game. I have a basic understanding in a couple different programming languages. I know in, in high school there was a class and we went through basics of HTML, CSS, and Python, and in that class I made a text-based game, but text-based games are not near as hard, you don't have to make any graphics or anything, so I, I'm not sure where to start when it comes to an actual, if I made a game it'd probably be like a Zelda type game, a 2D adventure game. But I, I, in that, in all these courses I've done, learning different programming languages, I never learned how to do uh, what do they call them? GUIs, graphical user interfaces. And maybe there's another course I could take. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> But at this point, I'm mainly teaching myself, so I think it would be good to take a course on it. So we'll see how that goes. I think before I do anything, I'm just going to make the sprites of the characters and try to record some music for it. That way, it's just the programming that needs to be done. I might even get some of the programming out of the way. I just need to decide a language to use for the game. I know the class that's happening next semester is CSS, no, CSS, C++. So I might learn a bit, I've never learned C++. I know my dad did, he's got a book called C++ for Dummies. So I might borrow that and learn some of the basics, just to get some of the easy programming out of the way. I know some easy inventory to do is like inventory items. So program different uh, healing items and things like that in the game. You can have the entire game working and not be playable. Like you can have everything in the game, all the story stuff programmed, but and then you put in the maps later. I could basically make the game a text-based game and add the, the images later. I know how to make text-based games, it's not that hard. Let's see. Also in video games, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon come out next week. And I know there's a couple new Pokemon, or Ultra Beasts, whatever you call them. 
and apparently there's nothing new besides that. But the story is apparently twice as long. And I'm not sure how to feel about that. Because on the one hand, we got twice as much game to go through. So that's never a bad thing. But on the other hand, if it's twice as much story and not just twice as much game, the story in Sun and Moon was already long and drawn out and boring. So if the story takes twice as long, it could work. If the story is twice as long without any added time for cutscenes, I think that would be about right. I feel like Sun and Moon had about twice as much time in cutscenes that it needed, and that really just made it drag. But if they add twice as much story with the same amount of cutscenes, I think that would be the perfect amount. sure what to ask. Cause I, the whole point of this is to be a conversation. So if I don't ask you guys questions, you have nothing to respond to besides me just filibustering. Uh, does anybody out there have any tips for making a game? I know Wesley has some music for a game that he imagined. I'm not sure if he knows you know how to make the game? Do you have any pointers there? Obviously, you know how to make the music. But that's not the that's not the problem here. Uh, man, I'm just really bad at talking for a long time. <laughs> oh, uh, have you guys seen the? trailer for the new, what is it called, Jumanji, with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I know, I guess it's a remake of an old Robin Williams movie. I'm not sure if it was a book before that, but uh, I think it looks really funny. I'm, and it's got a really good cast in it, too, so I'm not sure... I don't know. I need to watch the Robin Williams movie. I got it at home. I haven't watched it in a while. But I know in the new... In the old one, it's a board game. And in the new one, it's a video game. Basically what it is, you like... You pick a character, and in the video game, you got like sucked into the game system. And you are your character. And Oh, what's that comedian's name? Um, Kevin Hart, he's in it, and him and uh, The Rock seem to be in quite a few things together. They were in uh, Central Intelligence, which was another really funny movie. So I have I have pretty high hopes for this movie. <laughs> I have more hopes for this than I do for The Last Jedi. <laughs> but. Uh, Aaron has texted me on multiple occasions and goes, yeah, I think Luke's going to turn bad in this movie. I wouldn't count out the possibility, because in the books, he did uh, Turn to the Sith. But obviously, the books are classified as legends now, and they're not canon. Thanks, Disney. I hope Kylo Ren is cooler in this movie. I got super excited for him whenever I first saw him revealed. And then you learn Kylo Ren's not his name, it's a it's an order of knights. So now we're getting into like some kind of conspiracy theory, Knights Templar type. That could be really interesting if it's an organization like the Knights Templar. I think that uh, Star Wars takes inspiration from actual history. Like, uh, in the original trilogy, it's called the Galactic Civil War. So I have a feeling 
that there are aspects of the American Civil War in, in the story. Obviously, it's not a direct parallel. Because in Star Wars, the rebels are the good guys. And the people who hold power are the ones with the slaves. Uh, honestly, it reminded me more of World War II. Like, the empires, the Nazis, I mean, they have stormtroopers, for crying out loud. Plus, uh, I guess that makes Alderaan the Jews. <laughs> and now my uh, channel just got deleted on YouTube. <laughs> uh, nah, they're probably not listening to me. Ten subscribers. I gained my first subscriber in like a year. And the name on it was Matthew T. So I'm assuming it's the person... That I knew from high school, but the profile picture on it is a dog, and I have a feeling there's a lot of Matthew T's in the world. <laughs> all right, um, I guess that's all I got to say today. Are you excited for what movies are you excited for this year? I'm not sure when Jumanji comes out, but I'm pretty excited for that. Justice League comes out comes out next week. Uh, Star Wars comes out next month, and I don't think there's any other movies that I'm going to see. I may not see Jumanji. These movies are pretty expensive. But those are the ones I'm really excited for. I'm ex in terms of video games. Shadow of War came out a while ago. I need to get a. It might run on my PC. I might have to check that. But otherwise, I'm going to have to get a PS4. I'm not sure if it's on the Nintendo Switch. But if so, that'll probably be the system I get. Because I know... Obviously, Mario, Mario Odyssey looks like a really good game. Uh, there's Pokémon Tournament, which is a Pokémon fighting game. Uh, what else is on the Switch? I know there, there's going to be no more Pokemon games on the 3DS, and I'm pretty sure the next game is going to be on the Switch. So just to continue my Pokemon obsession, either that or I'm going to have to give up Pokemon, I'm going to have to get a Switch. But I really want to play Shadow of War. I am a Lord of the Rings fanatic. And hardly any of my friends have seen Lord of the Rings. Tell me if you've seen Lord of the Rings. I know Aaron hasn't. I know Ethan hasn't. I'm not sure about Wesley. It's so weird. None of the Nazis have seen Lord of the Rings, but they have a Lord of the Rings chess set. Why would you pick that? Oh, well. Sorry if you can't hear me very well, but uh, I missed the turn and I took the highway because I wasn't paying attention. So there's that. But uh, that's all I got to say now. The weekend has started for me because I don't have classes on Friday. And I, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And Thanksgiving break's coming up pretty soon if you guys want to get together and do something. I'm open to suggestions. All right, I'll see you guys later. I got to get gas, jeez.